Hi, this is Lee Ellis with another session of Leading with Honor Coaching. How are you doing? 2020 was a rough year. We've been hearing that a lot, but the reality is it was rough. How are you doing? Well, that's a good question. Well, here's what I found out recently, that employee engagement actually increased in 2020. So your performance of your team probably went up. Several of my large clients say they were just shocked. They thought when people work from home, performance would go down. In fact, it was just the opposite. And employee engagement by Gallup's research actually went up. But here's the other shoe that's going to fall, and that is that wellness went down. So in the long run, leaders are going to have to think about not only their own wellness, but that of their people. Because... When people in the past, when people's wellness went up, employee engagement went up and performance went up. But this time it was the opposite. So how are we going to engage in that? Well, first of all, just being aware of what's happening. We know that uh, it has been stressful, but there's a price to pay with enduring stress. When it continues, there's going to be burnout. And we don't want burnout because we want that good performance to carry on. But also we want to take care of our people. And taking care of your people is part of that leadership balance. We talk about results and relationships like a seesaw. Well, results has been going great, but our people's energy is starting to go down because of the stress. So we want to bring that one back up and get a better balance. And to do that, we need work-life balance. So how have you been handling work-life balance yourself? Think about it. Are you getting out of your office? Have you plan some vacations. You know, several uh, senior leaders have told me that their people have 50 to 60 days of vacation time that they haven't taken. They've been working hard and producing in a great way, but they haven't had much vacation and they've held back on it. So think about that. Look at that for yourself and for your people. You know, we talk about the, what, the solution to most all issues in our courageous accountability model is to clarify. Clarify what the issue is and how we can actually approach a solution and then connect with people's hearts. Let them know how valuable they are, how important they are in the performance that they're providing, but just as individuals that you respect them and care about them. And then we want to collaborate. I suggest that you work with your team and collaborate on how can we address employee well-being? How can we help ourselves to be more healthy at the same time that we're performing in this wonderful way? I think there'll be some good solutions coming from your team. So ask the questions, listen, collaborate, and work together. And then celebrate. If you had great success, you need to pause and celebrate. And there may be some times when you have to confront someone, even in the situation we're in now. I've had to confront myself a few times to make myself stop working and get out. So my performance will continue to stay high because if I don't, you know, it's going to go down. I can feel the stress. I can feel my memory starting to get cloudy because there's so much information processing in it. So we all need to pause, reflect, and think about how can we address our well-being, reduce the stress, and continue to perform in a wonderful way. Well, thanks for joining us today. Think about it and check out our blog with a little bit more information there. And we look forward to seeing you next month. Take care and God bless.